just to let you all in on a little bit about what uh, John or Howard is talking about was uh, we've uh, received the money to paint the belt and water tire and uh, but the issue that we found out is anytime you shut the belt and water tire off it cuts the hospital's water out so you know we can't do that I mean that's you know one of our top priorities is making sure we got the water to the hospital it works it shuts it, the it, off. everything worked fine with the tank shut off so we had to keep that until we had a leak then we have the problem yeah. the water comes back and we, we drink water from that there off the hospital so, so we got to do this yeah so our plan is you know the Department of Water come in and said before we could do any of this work that we had to come up with a plan to uh, how we were going to furnish the hospital with water. And our plan is to use the water tire at the industrial site, come back to the pump station out there at Kentucky Apparel, do because it's got a what's it called, John? Where where it won't let it back flush check or whatever? Check, check valve. Check. It's got a check valve that won't let you pump the water back through the pump. So we're going to come in and put a pump on the other side and bypass it and come back into the water and then come back down below the hospital there and put a cutoff valve where it can't run back through the, the lines back into town. And that way it'll go as far as it can go so the hospital and right there will always have water. So that, that's our plan on it. And I think uh, that may be the thing Dave's working on right now to get so we can get that approved so we can go ahead and. Uh, I think we got to wait a little bit, you know, for the temperature to warm up before they can actually start painting in the water tire building. But, you know, that's going to be one of our next big projects that we got going. 